Oh, mic check. One, two, here we go. Auto Transport Intel. Going again. What is going on, ecosystem? Welcome back to Auto Transport Intel, the car shipping business channel. I'm Jay. I'm your host this evening. You know, my goal every Tuesday night is to bring you another trade show level business presentation to you wherever you are, even if you're at the IARA. Because your business deserves the latest in auto transport information. And I know you're busy. And if you are, in a couple minutes, I'm going to go through the welcome show lineup and give you the information. And in the description below, right down below, you'll see time codes that you can click on and skip ahead to go to the parts of the video that apply to you most, save you time. Do me a favor. Please leave a like. Maybe comment, share, tell your friends. Thanks for watching Auto Transport Intel. So, does your wait seem like forever? The vehicles were purchased at the auto auction, and they need to be at the dealership. And there's a photographer with limited hours and constraints to work around everybody else's schedule so that you can get good, consistent photos of the vehicles for digital dealer retailing, All right? Well, why didn't you get an easy button? Oh, you didn't know about the easy button? Well, instead of waiting a week, you could have had high resolution photos. It's that easy. In the time it took to listen to the easy button. So tonight we have Jason Hawk, CEO of Black Widow Imaging, Joel Hawk, GM of Pogue Chevrolet. Caitlin Shirk, she's the GSM at Columbus Fair Auto Auction. She's going to join us. And then we also have Steve Gurch of Montana Auto Auction and Sky Hallman of One Auction View. So this is going to be another great show. Auctions, dealers, transport. Please join the live chat. Say hello. Ask your questions. Share your thoughts. Grow your business. Because it's Tuesday Nights Live on Auto Transport Intel. I'm Jay your host, welcome back to the show. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Auto Transport Intel. It is Tuesday Nights Live, and I'm your host, and thank you so much for joining me tonight on a Tuesday night. Really do appreciate it. Listen, if it is your first time here, I want you to feel welcome. Please do feel welcome at Auto Transport Intel. This is an open forum where everyone is welcome, dealers, carriers, brokers, dispatchers, you work at an auction if you work in tech please do feel free to say hello go into the live chat i'm going to go to the live chat here in a few minutes as you know if you've been here before we're going to say hello on um, company names your name what the weather is how your route's doing what's going on let us know if there's something that should be in industry news that's at the quarter hour national news social media news what's being talked about tech rates cars news ooh, got some really actually the top of the second half of industry news is gonna be there's some really good stuff that's going on and then after the news we're gonna bring ty in here now ty is live at the iara right now the 
International Automobile Remarketers Alliance live in San Antonio. So Ty will be joining us live from San Antonio, and we're going to bring in Black Widow. We're so happy to have Black Widow again on the show. Uh, we got Jason Hawk, CEO, Joel Hawk, his brother, GM of Pogue Chevrolet, and we're going to talk about vehicle imaging and, yes, the easy button. We're going to find out more about how you can get your easy button. I assure you, you want to know more about that. And then we're going to bring in Caitlin Shirk of Columbus Fair Auto Auction. I believe she has an easy button, but we're going to find out tonight exactly how that's going. Actually, she's got some great information to share. Really excited. This is Caitlin's First time on Auto Transport Intel, that is going to be great. And if that's not enough, we're going to add Steve Gurch of Montana Auto Auction, Sky Holman of One Auction View, and we're going to keep the party going of the vehicle imaging. We're going to keep you till 10 o'clock, hopefully not too much past that. So uh, I'm already two minutes late to the live chat, but I do want to say this. Do me a favor. After you leave a like, thank you so much. It's just right below. It's that thumbs up. Or you can not hit the, and then you can click share, click copy, grab the YouTube link, share it, send it to somebody, somebody that works in an auction, and they're so frustrated with getting so many phone calls. Where's my car? I got to get my car. I got to get the photos. I don't know what to do, right? You're so frustrated, man. You got to get the easy button. Share this link and let them know it's not that hard. We can help. We're Auto Transport Intel. You can go to autotransportintel.com, click on sign up, become an ATI insider, get on the email, talk to Ty. We want to help. So do me a favor. Right after this, we're going to go into the live chat and stick around. You know the value of a hard day's work because you're out there living it. Long hours, hard days and a dollar that doesn't stretch as far as you'd like. But what if you had more time at home? What if you had more money at the end of the month? Where is it that your mind wanders on long, open roads? What is it that nags you at night? How could your life be better? More money, more freedom, less stress. What if I told you I could help you spend less time on the road while making more money? What if I told you that you could plan your next trip in under two minutes? Both of these things are true with Dispatch Center. Turn the corner with us. Start your next chapter today. Save valuable time finding the right loads faster that's dispatch center by superflow systems get signed up and logged in to make your load management life easier visit dispatchcenter.com let's go into the live chat let's say hello and there's mark <laughs> that's superflow systems that's dispatch center ati is rocking it out thank you so much mark grodke oh the party continues Ty, cars on the move, ATI to the move, to the move, ATI to the move. Wow, did you see that one, Ty? Bang! ATI to the moon. Thank you so much, Mark, Superflow Systems, Dispatch Center. Thank you so much, Ty. Cars on the move at IARA. Um, yes, and the links are also in the live chat. You can go to superflowsystems.com, find out all about the suite of software end-to-end -end that Mark offers, or go to dispatchcenter.com, get signed up and logged in. Let's go ahead and back. That's great, man. Got the party rolling. Um, did you guys, did we rehearse that? We didn't. Uh, let's go back to the top of the live chat. John Cochran is in here. John, you made the news. Hey, all AI uh, Auto Transport, L A I Auto Transport in North Carolina right now. Ooh, based out of DC in North Carolina. We're gonna see a photo in industry news. Thank you so much for saying hello, John. Well done on your maiden voyage. Joel, Joel Hawk says hello from St. Louis. What's going on, Joel? Hey, Ty, where's my car? And Sarah Scrantz also saying hello from black widow what's going on sarah kimberly is in the live chat welcome to tuesday nights live that's me is it your first time here please do say hello in the live chat let us know how we can help you 
You'll find the links and the information. We really do want to help. We want to connect. Hey, you got some social media. You know what? I was saying this today. Are you at IARA and you got a great photo, but you don't have time to share it? Send it to me, autotransportintel at gmail.com. And me and Kimberly will get you posted in the live chat or on social media. Super Dispatch, what's going on? Hello, everyone. Ben from Super Dispatch is in here. Awesome. Yes, Ty is the ATI correspondent live on location. Carlos Braxton, ACB Logistics in the house. What's going on, Carlos? How's, man, how's the truck doing? Keep us posted. And we don't have a dispatching live or a DOT compliance this week. We may have cars on the move Friday, but we're going to be live at IARA tomorrow. You'll see it on the YouTube channel. You can go to YouTube, go to autotransportintel.com. We're going to be live at noon, and we're going to be live Thursday at 4.30 for the red carpet. Pre-keynote, Wednesday, red carpet, Thursday, red carpet. Uh, Roberto Hernandez, what's going on? Hey, man, thanks for saying hello. Black One Imaging in the house in mass. Uh, let's see here. Oh, and Mark is also, yes, Mark is in the live chat. BM says, good evening, what's going on? John is asking, hey, Ben, will Mannheim in North Carolina allow me to get on the lot after 10? Good question. Very good question. Oh, and Chris Chamberlain is ringing the... Thank you so much, Chris. Chris uh, tunes in regularly and is um, amassing research and information, also has some of his own information, and that's cool, man. Thank you for utilizing the Auto Transport Intel resource and participating and help supporting the channel. We really, really appreciate it, Chris. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see here. We've also got Richard Payton says hello from Columbus, Ohio. What's going on? Richard, longtime listener. Silver Mint, what's going on? Hey, Silver Mint, how we doing? How we doing? Hey, I like that. How we doing? Do you tune in on Wednesdays on DOT Compliance for How We Doing? Amazing segment. Amazing stuff. Uh, but I'm biased, of course. Let's see. And then uh, Ty's throwing bombs. <laughs> Um, and, oh, John Larrick is here. What's going on, John? Thanks for tuning in and saying hello. That's so cool. And Wright and jo Joel. Oh, you. <laughs> so, Wright, because time flies. And that's where, that's really an interesting example of if you are on the move and you're a little bit out of touch, you can use ATI to, to recenter, right? Reset, recenter, reconnect with auto transport intel on tuesday nights live you can say hello in the live chat you can comment below uh we're on linkedin we're on facebook instagram twitter find a way to reconnect with the uh well it's the automotive industry uh, that's another question i get okay so jay so we're just talking to carriers and stuff no no uh have you if, if you're buying cars selling cars moving cars whatever you're doing with cars if that car was at all any time if you before you bought it after you bought it after you sold it it was probably transported so uh yeah no we're not just talking about cares we're talking about the entire automotive industry if there is a car if you can see a car it's probably been on a truck or it's going to be on a truck again or we don't know what's going to happen next to that car but it's probably going to be on a truck again so welcome to auto transport intel where we talk about cars and trucking um, I'll tell you what, here's what we're going to do. We got live chat under our belts. We're going to move into industry news without any further ado. I'll tell you what, stick around for this. Right after this, we got industry news. I think I got a lot of stuff, so I'm going to be right back. You must be exhausted worrying about delivering on the daily schedule, making sure everyone knows where to find the cars they need, knowing exactly where and when the cars need to go, and ensuring customers will get them on time. Vlog uses the most advanced technologies to ease your worries. It shows you where each and every car is and tracks their entire delivery process from start to finish. Vlog can also help optimize your logistics and processes. It can even notify you in real time of any vehicle exceptions. And the best part is, you can start immediately with no setup required. 
Vlog is a ready-to-use service available on the web and mobile phone. You can get started today at vlog.io. What are you having trouble tracking? OEM, auction, dealer, carrier, rail, row, row, fleet. Vlog Virtual Asset Tracking Solutions helps manage your vehicles in real time. Visit vilog.io for more information. And thank you for the links in the live chat. There's more information there. And we, uh, we're we going to go into industry news in a second. I also want to say that um, on, on Vlog, there's a, there's a cool video edit going around of the Vlog show that we had. I think that was last month. And... Um, uh, I think it was Jason Wolf. He's the CEO. And I think his daughter made a video edit. Took the two-hour show, condensed it into like five minutes. Really good stuff. Got me doing the intro. Got Jason with his presentation. Gil, the CTO, with a little bit of demo. And then even Matt Landstra of Jack Cooper with some testimonial. Great stuff. Great job on that video. It's really awesome seeing that. And uh, please help. Share it. Like it. And thank you so much. All right, I think it is now time to go into, we're right on time for industry news. And this is it, man. This is show 204 in a row on a Tuesday night. Black Widow easy button. Once again, I have my easy button here. And I think you know how to make me hit the easy button. I'm just saying, it's, it's just a thought. Just, I'm just... I'm just hinting. So, uh, so we're going to be talking about Black Widow vehicle imaging. Now, you know that we had uh, we had the gang, we had the Black Widow gang here uh, at the beginning of June. Wow, that's already been dang really almost three months. Boy, time goes fast. And uh, we had man, there's Ty and there's Joel and Wynn and Rob Ruth and Chris Hoke and there's Jason and Steve. Lots of great information. So we're going to continue that party tonight. Um, at the same time, there is a party going on in San Antonio. And we last week started the party with IARA Roundtable Energy. Had an amazing panel. And there's there's a shot of San Antonio. Martin grabbed a shot today for us to share. And this is, the, uh, this is a shot from last week. This is the panel. Uh, we had Ty... Becky from Cars Recon, Joe from Auto IMS, Matt from America's Auto Auction, John Ship Your Car Now, Martin Bob at Business Media, Dave from Montway, and Ron, president of Cars Recon. An amazing show. If you missed it, go back and check that out. Or, or just drive on down to San Antonio and see all the folks. <laughs> um, and there is that. So this is a kind of a preview of tomorrow. This room's going to be full. Now we're not gonna let's go to camera one and clear this up. It's not that we're gonna be live from all the sessions. I'm not saying that. We're actually gonna go live before the first session. I believe this is where the keynote will take place at 1:50. So we're gonna go live at noon to say hello and check in before the activity heats up. Okay, so that's gonna be tomorrow. On Auto Transport Intel Live at IARA. And there's there's Ty's already seeing people checking in. A lot of people have already checked into the hotel by now. It is 8.20 in San Antonio. That's central time and everyone's gearing up. And Ty ran into Tony. <clears throat> Thank you, Tony. Tony is executive director of IARA and he helped get us access to the show. We're super excited. We owe you, Tony. Thank you so much. Let us know what we can do for you. There, Ty caught up with Ship Your Car Now outside of the hotel saying hello. And if you've got, hey, you got a photo, send it to autotransportintel at gmail.com. I know how it is. You're at the show. You got a great photo and you want to share it on social media, but you do not have time. You're meeting people and your Danish is slipping off the end of your knee and you got your books and papers and meetings and phones. You don't have time. Email it to me. I'll share it. Give me some hashtags. Tell me your company information. Let's do this. Let's reconnect. We can do this. Um, and so the the show we did in June with Black Widow, Do Photos Move Cars, 
This is an extension of that. Yes, we identify the ecosystems, right? OEMs, auctions, dealers, shippers, services, brokers, carriers, equipment, regulations, and loads. Tonight, once again, we're going to be talking about, yes, automakers need this quality and the speed with the volume, the auto auctions, the car dealers, the shippers, brokers, carriers, loads. We're focused on a service that services the needs. Remember the easy button. You remember the easy button. Okay, you remember the easy button. Keep that in mind. So uh, back of the store, front of the store, Auto Transport Intel, we connect the transport parking lot in the back to the front where the dealer sells the cars. There's an easy button around here somewhere. It's the year of the hybrid where digital meets physical, digital auction meeting physical auction, oy vey, right? Uh, and you know, I like to say when the auction is a packed house, you'll find Ty in the clubhouse. Connect with Ty Transport Guy, that's his handle. Talk to him or find him at the conference. Me and Ty like to have meetings. We talk, we strategize, and then we go out and network like crazy. And where it's happening right now is the IARA Summer Roundtable in San Antonio. I can't stop talking about it. Jay, we know. Um, but I'm still talking about it because Wednesday we're going to be live. Thursday we're going to be live. Thursday's the big... Look at all these. Uh, you've got 10.30... And 11.30 awards, 125. There's Tony with IARA, 205 e-vehicles. Busy, a busy two days with lots of sponsors and names we recognize. Yes, IARA Summer Roundtable, ATI is live in San Antonio. <laughs> Didn't you already say this? Easy button. Um, and in case I forgot to mention... You go to the Auto Transport Intel YouTube channel. We got it. Um, IARA likes to say that uh, this is your opportunity to become engaged with IARA, to interact with industry colleagues, to evolve both personally and professionally. Let's join together to help remarketing recover and stay strong. Right now, right now, there's somebody somewhere in the hotel and they're like, man, this is the greatest thing ever. I, I am so glad I came. It's happening right now. Right there's in the lobby. You got the IA. The, you'll know you're in the right place when you see the banners in the lobby. And if you if you want to learn more about why IARA does what they do, it's on IARA.biz. The information is there. You can learn more about the Certified Automotive Remarketer Program, which really helps folks get up to speed on what it takes to be great at auto remarketing at the auction and also then you got the auction groups serve net auction group you've got america's auto auction you've got accelerate group auctions and then you've got individual services here's uh becky posted this on social media cars recon headlight restoration so many services when oh, there's cars recon on i think that was linkedin Cars Recon on Instagram, Auto IMS, Transportation Superpowers, Condition Reports, Transport CR, Auction Academy, where you can get a real macro view of what it is to transition to management at the auction. I mean, it just keeps going. Here's Caitlin Shirk's information on LinkedIn, General Sales Manager of Columbus Fair Auto Auction. She's with us tonight. And this is Caitlin. She is with actually, what do we call this, Jason? Is this a console? This is at, this is with the Black Widow in the running lane where you have the Black Widow. Actually, we're going to learn more about it. How about that? How about if I, let's go to camera one. How about if I leave this to the experts that are going to be with us tonight? Let's try that, Jay. What else do we have here? We've got to, oh, there's your Black Widow. Right? You can see the arms of the Black Widow. You know you're in good care when you see those arms. Oh, look at that. You can actually see with background or no background. Leave it up to Black Widow. How about a Mannheim, Dallas? There's the Black Widow. I found it in their own photos. Right? Man, I'm sure this on LinkedIn. I found the Black Widow in the Mannheim photo. 
In fact, there should be a game with books. Where's Black Widow? And you got to spot the Black Widow. There's cars everywhere and mat and oils going everywhere. Remember those old books? Where's Black Widow? Um, and then, of course, IARA, Roundtable Energy. Visit the podcast if you've already liked it. Oh, you can't see it. If you've already liked it, I'm over here talking away, just talking away. If you've already liked the podcast, thank you so much. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Um, auto transported to, oh yeah, this is cool. Can we help you? We're now a media partner with Automotive Logistics Supply Chain Global Live. That's in October. So we'll be, we'll be live at, uh, yeah. Get everything ready, Ty. Get the ramp up the gimbals and the whatnot because we're, you're going to Detroit for October. So get ready. Oh, and here it is. Here's John LAI Auto Transport out of DC on his maiden voyage. This is his first load. So we, uh, not only do we, right, we talk about education and we have the round tables and the support and whatnot, but we applaud. Well done, John. You did it. You got your first load and we can't wait to hear more about it i'm sure there's some interesting stuff so so keep us posted john thank you so much for sharing the photo you know this is how you get your car shipping news it's on auto transport intel it's on tuesday nights you can put it up on the big screen cast it you know you can cast it and i'll tell you what here's what time it is it is now time it is approximately it's just before 8 30 and it's on a tuesday night and we're going to ask you, are you a car shipping guru? You know you can ask Larry. Here's what we want you to do. You want to go to, uh, oh, Roberto and Anna's, we're everywhere. <laughs> There's your answer. Um, you want to go to dispatchcenter.com forward slash ask Larry. We're going to give the questions on Tuesday nights. We start the questions. We don't. I, I don't even know the answers. I haven't seen them. Um, and then we're going to give the answers on, oh shoot, we're going to be live Thursday. So we're going to, yeah, I'm going to have to make a note of that. We're going to have to work in Larry. Let's see, Larry answers on Thursday, on Thursday's red carpet. That'll be cool. Very cool. All right, cool. So adjustment made, notes taken live. So anyways, we're going to go into the first question. Here we go. You guys ready? Again, go to dispatchcenter.com forward slash ask Larry. Play to win. Here we go. What was the first model year of the Chevy Silverado? 1987, 1993, 1999, or 2005? Oh, yes. And you'll notice. You'll notice that Larry is wearing the safety orange t shirt. 87, 93, 99, 2005. It just so happens that Larry, uh, so, uh, whoops, dispatchcenter.com does have these safety orange t shirts. And a driver, I guess, was confronted by a DOT officer or somebody at the yard and wasn't wearing the right vest. They threw on their dispatch center safety orange t shirt and they were allowed to proceed. Well done, dispatch center. 1987, 1993, 1999, or 2005. Ooh, Carlos has 87. That's the first year for the Chevy Silverado. I'm going to go with Carlos. I'm going to go with 87. Thank you, Carlos. Well done. Here we go. Question two. What is the most appropriate carrier pay amount to ship a 2018 Audi 4 from Lincoln, Nebraska to Eugene, Oregon? All right, pull up your mental maps. 585, 735, 990, 1380. Uh, now, Eugene, I believe, is on the interstate between Saddle, Seattle and NorCal. Lincoln is on I-80, I believe. So, given interstate, I'm gonna, that's going to bring the price down a little bit in my mind. It's an Audi A4. I'm going to go with... Well, it's pretty far, though. I'm going to go with 990. I'm going to give that a shot. All right. Anybody else? Going once. 
going twice. And if you have no idea, maybe you have no freaking idea, I have no idea. Here's the thing. Uh, Larry is the transport auto quoter genius. Alexa, open Quotify. Larry knows the rates. So if you need help, transportautoquoter.com. Because if you can't even guess, don't guess. Get the right answer the first time. Here we go. How many vehicles were registered in the state of California in 2019? Eight and a half, 10 million, 11.6, 14.8 million. How many vehicles were registered in the state of California? Wow. Wow, in 2019? Mm, man. Uh, <laughs> I was going to go, my first thought was, oh, in California, people don't register their vehicles until they have to. So that's going to cut into the number a little bit because people are from everywhere. I know. I was there. Uh, I'm going to go with 11.6. I don't know. I always go somewhere in the middle ground. What do you got? Oh, and Joel's got 735. That'll be interesting. Joel will find out Thursday. I hope, I hope it's not 735, but Larry does know what it will take to get it moved. The shipper won't be super happy. The transporter won't be totally excited. It's right in the middle. Here we go. What is the most appropriate carrier pay amount to ship a 2018 Hyundai Santa Fe from Austin, Texas to Detroit, Michigan? Is it 650, 820, 1025, 1285? Hyundai Santa Fe from Austin to Detroit. Well, I'll tell you what. They usually pay better going south. Um, Santa Fe, small SUV. I'm actually going to go with... I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i bet it's 820. I'm going to go with 820. I wish it was a grand, but I think it's going to be 820. So let me know what you think. Thanks for tuning in the podcast. By the way, how is the audio? I've redlined several times here. It looks a little hot. Mic check, one, two, three. But we might be okay. I don't know. We'll see. Let me know if you, if you, I, yeah. Okay, here we go. Question five. The top four states for electric vehicle usage are California, Texas, Florida, and is it Washington, Vermont, Kansas, or New York? I'm pretty sure, I'm going to go on like political voting maps on this one. California, Texas, Florida, and... I'm going to leave out Vermont. I'm going to leave out Kansas. Oh, electric vehicle usage? Oh, that's tough. Washington or New York? Hmm. Hmm. That is tough. That is a tough one. Anybody? Anybody have an answer on that one? I do not know. I don't know what to guess. I've never gotten five out of five. Um, because Larry, man, Larry comes up with some amazing questions. So thank you so much, Larry. Incredible segment. Thank you. You know, um, if you don't already know, go to autotransportintel.com. Click on sign up. Become an ATI insider. Ooh, Sky's got you, New York. I think I'm leaning toward, see, there's Carlos with Washington. Those are the two. I can't figure it out. I... I don't know. I don't know. Good question. Um, oh wait a minute. So this is do we have slides out of order? Let's go to let's go to the live chat. Let's do that. Let me check my slides. I was working feverishly and I think I've got um Oh yeah, no, that one I don't know why that showed up right there. Yeah, that's that's not right. But you know what <laughs> It is live. At least we know we're live. Yeah, and I think it's a little bit hot. Mic check, one, two, three. Check, check. So I'll tell you what. While I do a sound check, do me a favor. Stick around. You know, I uh, after after a long days of, uh, you know, ELD punch. ELD punch, everybody. We'll be right back. Are you completely stressed out from all the calls and the contracts and the verification of loads when nobody answers the phone? Call Murphy Auto Dispatch Services today. Murphy Auto Dispatch Services has over 15 years of experience in the transport industry. We are your office while you are on the road. We book, we verify, and we bill out your loads for you. 
We have an excellent accounting staff and an even better dispatch team. Give us a call today at 417-273-0021. Or if you want to email me, it's murphyautotransport31 at yahoo.com. Give us a call today. Auto IMS and ConditionReports.com are pleased to introduce the Transport CR mobile app. Auctions, consigners, and dealers who engage independent transporters now have an affordable tool to hold all parties accountable when unexpected damages arise. Inspection photos, geotagging, date and timestamps, and user-specific authentication all ensure transparency and accountability. Install the Transport CR app or contact info at conditionreports.com. An inspection and condition reports accountability tool holding all parties accountable with authentication. Install the Transport CR app or email conditionreports.com. Guys, thank you so much for jumping into the live chat. It is now time. We're going to go into the second half of industry news. Here we go. CAR, K-A-R, to acquire CarWave dealer-to-dealer -dealer platform for $450 million. Did you see this one, Ty? I thought of you immediately when I saw this wholesale happening. Um, and CAR Global buys another company. California-based dealer-to-dealer online wholesale marketplace was founded in 2009, and its network of dealer customers includes stores in Arizona, California, Nevada, Oregon, and Texas. The platform allows dealers to take trade-ins and aged frontline inventory and quickly wholesale them while also sourcing vehicles to purchase. This acquisition will advance our clear growth strategy in the dealer-to-dealer -dealer segment and accelerate the positive momentum we've sustained over the past several quarters said Peter Kelly. He's the CEO for CAR. CarWave has a strong active dealer network in California, the country's largest wholesale automotive market, as well as growing presence in Arizona and Texas. So there's the CarWave website. Go to carwave.com and you'll see there's the CarWave logo. Going to be seeing more of CarWave. This was a big article making the rounds on social media. Vroom to doom in 60 seconds. Not the best headline for some folks. Customers never want to deal with online car seller Vroom again, it says. India Armstrong says her friend was initially skeptical that she could find and buy a white used BMW all online without actually kicking the real tires. But the car that showed up in front of her house via red and white Vroom delivery truck was far from the car of her dreams. Interior had a terrible smell. Tires needed to be replaced. There was frightening grinding sound. This sounds pretty bad. She immediately contacted Vroom to return the car. And with a string of calls trying to get her $24,000 in cash back. At one point, she complained, I've called five days in a row for a total of nine hours with no resolution or a date where the vehicle will be picked up so that the refund process can be begin. Her frustration isn't unusual, this article says. Room, which has promoted itself as a painless way to buy a car online, has been racking up an extraordinary number of complaints in the past year. Hundreds of consumers across the country, including many millennials, grumbled about bad cars and some run up against a $699 non-refundable delivery fee. Interesting stuff. Well, that, to be continued, we'll keep our eyes open. And in fact, just to mention, consumer complaints ran to cars rank number one. Yeah, so so the easy peasy of buying online uh, has, its, has its problems. So it's something to watch out for. In fact, I want to mention this. Tesla. Have you been to the, uh, I've talked, I've been talking about this. I think this is so fascinating. Tesla has a blog post forum for, uh, I don't know how you get your car. I guess you can't call anybody and they don't have like tracking. So here's one where the car broke down and they had to get a loaner and drive 1300 miles. And they're saying, how do I get my car home? The service center has no process for shipping my car home. My first, th my first thought is to ask them, my first thought, oh, the, to, add, to use an empty returning car carrier. 
an empty returning car carrier. I love this really helps us realize there's a serious disconnect about the way this works and the way we think it works. They're saying their hope is to use an empty returning car carrier to carry it to the Fremont factory. Lots of Tesla car carriers passed us while we sat in the freeway breakdown lane. Yeah, let me know how that goes. Excuse me, sir. Uh, just getting, getting, getting the car hauler to stop would be interesting. Excuse me, sir. Can we put our Tesla on your car hauler and send it back to the Fremont factory? Can't wait to find out how that went. So here's the thing. I got an idea. You know all this robot stuff? How about you put it into the uh, blog post deal? Anyways, all right. Ford will haunt, uh, haunt. Ford, Ford will halt the F-150 plant for a week over <laughs> chip shortage. It's not funny. I'm just thinking about the haunting thing that I just said. There's a one-week shutdown that'll begin on Monday. Good to know. Now, this was, gosh, this was a week, a week ago, so I guess it's already over. Oh, well. Um, but this, Toyota to slash global output by 40% in September, that's global. This is huge news, like in automotive news, you'll see this everywhere on the uh, dealer automaker news sites. And here's one you won't see, though. This is interesting. Truck and trailer build rates are falling in face of pent-up demand, struggling to overcome a myriad of obstacles. Truck and trailer builds are hampered, hampered by raw material and labor shortages, material and component supplies, as well as staffing issues. Actually, so we're going to build a show next week. We're going to be talking about that. Uh, this one's from Vehicle Remarketing. Automobile prices finally hit an all-time high. Really? Well, you don't say. Hopefully. And then also incoming IARA presidency's new industry directions from Roundtable event. This is about the summer roundtable. And in fact, Vehicle Remarketing put her, made a write-up about Black Widow auctions discover the real-time value of instant digital photos with our friend, there's Martin. Martin wrote the article. Martin's going to be live on ATI from IARA tomorrow. Uh, in the article, Martin put, buyers are likely to purchase more cars because of the quality of the images. A recurring challenge among auctions is many condition reports lack photos. Taking photos with Black Widow allows dealers to market their cars on their websites before the car ever arrives. Ding. The system avoids the need for pricey photo studios. Right. Who needs a big old photo studio? Clunky apps, efficient, inefficient processes, third-party vendors, photographers with their own schedules or weather right weather that's right we don't have to worry about the weather now which seems to be an issue a lot um and then we got steve gurch montana auto auction he has been able to cut the numbers of his full-time cr writers to one without black widow there's no way i could keep up i would have needed 10 cr writers to keep up with what's going on. I would have been out there doing CRs myself. Photos taken with Black Widow can be put on websites while they're on the delivery truck, giving dealers time to market auctioned vehicles. A used car, statistic alert, a used car on average costs $42 a day in interest. If it decreases by seven days, that's about 300 bucks. There's your melting block of ice. Accurate images minimize the auction payout on missed items and arbitration costs on any disputes over the quality or condition of the vehicles. Average silo time to market can decline from 7 minutes to 15 seconds? Pictures show who took what keys and when or whether they put them back on the roof. Instead of doing 3 vehicles an hour, you can do 40. Holy cow. This information is, this article is packed with information. Go to vehicleremarketing.com. It's the latest ar article. Uh, this is Auto Transport Intel. It's four times a week. This is Tuesday Night's Live. Oh, yes. Well, normally we have DOT Compliance Dispatching Live Cars on the Move. This is a special week. I just want to mention, though, on Wednesday's DOT Compliance, where we do How We Doing. Love How We Doing. In fact, uh, we had a truck inspection tech last week. Pretty cool stuff. Load board search on Thursdays. Check that out. Join us next week. We shoot some dice. 
we have problems and money. And then dealers, auctions, carriers, that's on Fridays where we connect, come around full circle. If you missed Friday's show, this is last Friday, with Tim Scottless, Max Digital, The Melting Block of Ice. We do it once a month. The three things on the dealer's lot to look for. Three things to look at on every dealer's lot. This is inside info for auto transport businesses. Here's the summary. I'm just give it. You don't even have to watch the video, although you should. Go to uh, Tim Scatalus's channel, and it's in fact what you want to do: watch Cars on the Move from last Friday. This is the name of this show. It really is worth it. It's a great show. Car haul carriers hauling for car dealers. Three things to look for on the dealer's lot, and look in the video description. You can click on the time codes, get all the information, inspect the back lot, count the cars on the used car retail lot. That's the front, and then visit the showroom. And then get the podcast. How many cars are on the lot? What's the used vehicle inventory activity? And what's happening in the showroom? Last week, we had... Oh, two weeks ago already. Oh, my gosh. Ship Your Car Now live demo. Check out that show. That was a great show. Next week, chip shortage and car hauling? Holy cow. That's happening? Uh, it is the Car Shipping Business Channel. My name is Jay. I'm your host. And I really do appreciate your time. It's already been, man, I've already been talking for 45 minutes. Somebody somewhere's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> so I'll tell you what, it is time. I got to kick up the uh, kick up the Zoom meeting here. So do me a favor, stick around, because after this, we're going to bring in Ty, live from IARA. He's going to help introduce Jason Hawk and Joel Hawk, and then we're going to keep the party rolling. We'll be back soon with Black Widow. Stick around. Is your current vehicle imaging process producing inconsistent images, frustrating, time-consuming, at the mercy of another vendor's schedule? Well, it doesn't have to be. Black Widow Imaging provides a simple system to capture high-quality images of your vehicles in seconds. Simply align the driver's side tire with the floor stripe. Stop on the floor plate to scan your vehicle code and capture the exterior images. It's that easy. It's also equipped with an interactive 360 degree interior camera option so your customers don't miss any details. The results are fast, consistent 4K images that are delivered to your website in minutes. Let us show you how easy your imaging process can be anywhere in the global supply chain. Visit blackwidowimaging.com to schedule a live demo. Black Widow Imaging provides high-resolution solutions for OEMs, auctions, dealers, rail, port, fleet, insurance, transportation, and more. Get your demo. Schedule it. Go to blackwidowimaging.com. Okay, so it is now time. I'm excited. He's ready. Ty is with me. He is live in San Antonio. The chat is going crazy. Everybody's throwing up high fives. And they're ready to go. Here we go. Ty, can you see Yo, me and hear me? I can see and hear you. Can you see and hear me? I can see you. I can hear you. you can't see the background. How's the background? Can oh, you it see looks it? great. I can see. It's awesome. <laughs> you can't see. It looks amazing. Well done. Good job. Oh, great well, job. I got the light. I got the. Oh, I know. You, man, We're good. You did it. You so, did it. Yeah. Here's some really great stuff. Obviously, I'm here. I'm meeting people and I'm checking stuff out, setting things up, you know, all the things that try to help you uh, since you, you're not here. So to make it work. So anyway, you know, what was it? How many weeks ago was it when we had Matt, the America's Auto Auction Arbitration guy? Is that two weeks? One week. One week ago. OK, so guess who I met today in live, real, real life person? You got to shake his hand, Matt. I met him. So, I'm, what are you doing, Matt? Well, I'm setting up this room for what? Well, tomorrow morning we're going to have car certificate, right? These guys, and we're going to have N Triple A all in the same room, and we're going to talk about arbitration. We're going to talk about condition reports. We're going to talk about pictures. I'm like, wow, are you serious? I didn't even know that. He's like, yeah, I don't think anybody knew about it. I said, is there any way I could come? He said, it's standing room only. If you can be here, you can come in. So, point is, is what a great segue into tonight's show because 
this is a huge, huge, just like Jay was talking about how, you know, and I, Jay's right. I do say this all the time. That, that truck was either on a, that car, that vehicle was either on a truck or a train or a boat at one time. And I promise you, it will be back on a truck again soon. Right. I know that I've done it for 20 years. It's a true story. So great segue because Matt arbitration in today's crazy world of digital online auctions, real auctions. What are we doing? High, year of the hybrid. You hear Jay say that stuff all the time. <laughs> right. What yeah. I'm telling you is, is whether you like online or you don't like online, whether you like going to the physical auction or you don't. Here's one thing that I think is absolutely true. This Black Widow deal that we're talking about, these guys, this Jason, Joel, all the gang, Black Widow, we keep saying Black Widow, Black Widow. There's a reason we keep saying it. This is, this is where it's going, guys. This is really where it's going. And it's way more than, I just need good, and I think, is Sky coming on tonight? Yeah, Sky, oh yeah, Sky's going to be here. We got, hey, Steve Gurch is actually able it? to, yeah, I know. He, he no. was like, okay, I'm, he's like, I'm busy. But I, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to make it. I was like, that oh is my so gosh. great. I know. And Dude. then we have Caitlin here at nine o'clock. Oh wow, Caitlin's she, gonna be here. Caitlin's Caitlin gonna Shirt. Be here. She's she's at the IARA <laughs> with you. Yeah, dude. Maybe she's I gonna, should show up at some of the meetings that you guys have, and I might know more, right? Um, I exactly. I'll tell you what. When we come, I'm gonna write real quick. I'm gonna ring the cowbell for Super Dispatch. Thank you so much. Super Dispatch ringing the cowbell, cowbell, literal trade show level tonight, as always. Super Dispatch, thanks ATI for keeping the industry educated, informed, and connected. Thank you so much, Super Dispatch. Yes, so here's a question. Ty, when is Matt's podcast in the morning? What time is that at? Do you know? Yeah, I do, and I'm going to be there. I'm not telling anybody, and the reason I'm not oh, telling anybody yeah. it's 830 is because I'm going to be there oh. before everybody. <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah it's at nine registration no. <laughs> starts at eight so i'm gonna be there at like seven o'clock just like standing there oh, let me in let me in exactly like oh, oh my gosh thank you. so oh. we'll do this because um i and i want to make this clear let's go to camera one we're not doing any live streaming of any event where it hasn't already been you know, approved and whatnot. So nobody needs to worry that we're going to pop into their event and start live streaming. It's not like that. Oh, no, 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 no. 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 But what we are going to do is if you're in there, Ty, get a couple photos or something that makes sense featuring Matt and whatever. And, and we'll, you know, that's the goal. As you can see, I mean, we're live. Ty is adjusting his camera. We are live and he's in San Antonio. I'm in Kansas city. And the goal is to keep on doing more of this because I know this. Um, I've, I've spent my whole life in media, and I know that there are just like every you could shoot it. You could shoot a scene. How about this one? You could shoot a scene from eye level and just walk around with the camera eye level. Is that how we shoot? No, that's not how we shoot movies. We put it down on the floor. We throw it up high, high angle, low angle, tracking shots, and all this stuff because there's many ways to view a an event. And so we are helping bring another angle. That's the goal. So having said that. Like, whoa. <laughs> I think it's time. Uh, let's do this. Let's bring in, let's, uh, I'm going to clear some of these graphics. I'm going to bring in Jason and Joel. Jason Hawk, CEO of Black Widow. Joel Hawk, GM, Pogue Chevrolet. They're brothers, and they are, uh, man. Up high, high angle. Oh, here we go. Yeah, and so here he comes. And you know, and I, I don't give a lot of, uh, I don't give a lot of warning. I just like, uh, I'm going to, you know, he's been, <laughs> they've been in the green room. They, they, they've been like snacking on lobster. Oh, they're not, that's the wrong shot. They've been snacking on, do we have lobster in the green room, Ty? Did we get that? Absolutely. Yes, we All got day. lobster in the green room. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and the, uh, I think Dom Pignon is what in there. What are those there. shrimp things? We got yeah. some of those shrimp. The shrimp baby cocktails. Shrimp. Yeah. Jason, Jason. Jason, did you get the, did you have lobster in the green room just now? What, what are we talking about? <laughs> We're talking, we're talking about the uh, Zoom meeting waiting room. I was saying how oh, fabulous yeah. it is. Yeah, it's just like on the Tonight Show. We have all the you know, flowers and champagne. Oh, yeah. Jason, <laughs> thank you so much for taking the time, yeah. joining us tonight. Please do me a favor. We've seen you before, but in case somebody's new, please introduce yourself. Say hello. Tell us a little bit more about Black Widow Imaging. I'm Jason Hawk, CEO and founder of Black Widow. Um, 
So I think, uh, you know, over the last six months, everybody's kind of been uh, wondering what Black Widow is, right? So we're an imaging company that's uh, a little bit outside the box from how other things are done. And uh, we take images of cars and we do it fast. And, um, you know, we pride ourselves in our speed and consistency and um, we help anywhere along the global supply chain. So anybody that uh, touches the car from birth to junkyard, we can help you out. And in that, oh, there's Joel. Hey, Joel. Hey, guys. How you doing? Hey. Hey, Joel. Will hey, you Di. do the same? <laughs> I knew Will you were alive. I think I Joel. I'm alive, man. I promise. I think about you every day. I'll call you. I swear. Oh, yeah. You yeah. got That was in the live chat. So you guys are supposed to connect. So, yeah, so, yeah. Where, so I guess we're live. Awkward. We're going to put a Black Widow over you. <laughs> where's Ty? I'm going to be right. Black Widow all day tomorrow, guys. I know. Watch I out. Know. Hey, there's a great idea. Get Ty in the get Ty in the running lane and have the six angles. Remove Black the background. Widow. That sounds cool. No, um, really, I'm excited about tomorrow, Joel and Jason. I think that little thing I got tipped off with Matt, he's an arbitration guy, so I'm going to learn a lot. I'm really excited about it. And to hear these guys talk about, man, photos mean so much. That is just, it's really weird. I like that. Yeah, Matt Aries is... He's been around a long time, so he's Matt, uh, a yeah. wealth of knowledge. Yeah, good guy. Super cool. Okay, sorry, Joel. We interrupted Joel's. Hi, Joel. How you guys doing? I want to say hello. Exactly. Joel, please do say hello. Hello. And then we'll hello, go everyone. into the informalities. So I'm the uh, sales director of Black Widow, also a general manager of a, of a Chevy store. So it's kind of my co-part, both of them. But uh, I'm in a in the real world uh, dealer. Um, I deal with the auctions. I deal with you know the dealer side. And then I also obviously see the importance of imaging, and it's, it's everything. In that real world, let's go to the real world. So you've got, and I think that's part of why. Here it is: the easy button. It is. It's here because. There's that disconnect from you've got you've got folks that have a volume of vehicles somewhere and they don't have the photos for them yet. Why not? Why are why are folks waiting so long for photos of cars they've owned for days? What's going on there? What happened? Well, it's difficult for someone to actually walk out there. It's, it goes back to labor, it goes back to people. When you make it easy, like we do, it gets done. As opposed to, so the old way, <laughs> there's Ty's, Ty's gone. Ty left us. Um, in the, and he's back. And he's back. So, I mean, the, yeah, no the, comment. <clears throat> the old way, just as you, you, there was a day, you know, Somebody said to Dyson, hey, man, you got a great vacuum cleaner. How did, how did people used to do it? And he holds up a broom yep. and says, you remember yeah, this? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what was the broom or what? what? Some people are still trying to clean up with a broom rather than getting the super vacuum that you have. Why? What, what's their broom? What's, what is that? Is that, a, is that somebody with a Polaroid showing up? What are they doing? Is it the... Oh, I don't think it's that bad, but they're probably using some type of tablet device, but... You know, a tablet device has its uses and it has its cases, but when you need volume and consistency, it has to be automated. And that's what we've realized. So uh, it's not to say those are totally antiquated, but um, uh, maybe not totally a broom, maybe a Swiffer, you know, but. Uh, ah, it's a Swiffer. You know, it's kind we of got, a hybrid. I knew we'd get a Swiffer reference credit. tonight. It, it, it has its place. You know, I don't have a, I don't have a, a, a buzzer, but I've got a honker. See that? Ooh, there we go. That's cool. Uh, you like that? It's like Kip. I like it. He like talks to me. <laughs> Chip. I remember old Chip. No, it was Kip. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Kip, Kip was the motorcycles, man. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Chip, the cops. <laughs> it's live. Live, right. yeah. All right. Uh, so so old, way, old ways die hard, unfortunately, man. One day I'll be old in the retirement home and my ways will suck too. But in the meantime, there was a die hard. There was somebody, I think Jay just said it about Steve when he was reading that, how much time, I don't know if it was Steve, but how much time did this guy say he saved? 
I think Did you guys saying, hear that? He's saving 10, 10 to 15 minutes a car. But, um, you know, that's a lot. Especially when you're that adds up. Cars. They went from so how many cars a day to 40 a minute? 40 a Yeah, 40 yeah. Every- so I think the average is about 20 minutes a car. So, you know, if you can do, you know, 40 an hour instead of three, you know, that's pretty good. And that's not maxed out yet, you know, but that's safely driving through. So. <laughs> that's safe. 40, 40 cars in an hour. Is that what you said? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, that's up to super. Three, up to three a minute is about as safe as you can go through. So. Yeah. And well, last time, that's why I'm happy. He's so excited Steve's back on because last time he, I mean, he's the dude that's like really in there doing it, right? Oh, yeah. He's talking about how much time he saved and how much uh, manpower and how he's been able to move stuff around. So I'm looking forward to hearing more about that. Yeah, for sure. Joe, what about you? What about me? What are you excited about? I'm excited about imaging. Imaging. (laughs) I'm excited about you being down there. Yeah, I am excited. Uh, Now, do you guys use that at dealerships too? Yes. Put them in the service service bay or quarter bay or wherever you want, wherever we can hang it. Doesn't take any space. No space, and you're using it. You're putting it on your website also, right? Yes. That's mm-hmm. why you're using your soca. Yeah. Do the service tool, service tool. You know, arbitration, trade ins, used, new. If you can get a microchip. <laughs> right. I'm- I'm looking forward to finding out this so, whole microchip thing was a scam. Well, we got you know, I, I saw your video. And I'll tell you what. I want you to sidebar that Danish. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so we have we have Caitlin. It's now nine o'clock. We have Caitlin. We have a limited time. We're gonna bring in Caitlin. Here we go. I'm gonna hit the button. But I want to say this. I do have, I do have a few videos, and we're going to uh, that I you know, watching out on YouTube picture. that you guys have. Of the when you see all those cars, Jason, when you see all those cars running through the auction lanes, you've got to be wanting to jump up and down, saying, "Why don't you just have it hanging from the ceiling?" You've already got the cars running through all the lanes. All you got to do is put it in. I got one in the trunk of the car. I'll go grab it. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's been like that for about a decade. Yeah. Sure. Uh, yeah, I can imagine. I mean, I know how I get. I'm like, just shoot it. Just show up and. Get the microphones going. All right, so Caitlin is here. She's getting her audio ready. Um, and so if you're just joining now, it is 9 o'clock. Thanks for saying hello in the live chat. And what we're doing is we're hanging out with Black Widow, the Black Widow Easy Imaging Show. They got the easy button. The show is already half over. But we got Caitlin Shirk. She's going to join us from Columbus Fair Auto Auction. We also have uh, Steve Gurch from Montana Auto Auction and Sky Hallman. Also going to join us in the panel discussion. Now, it isn't easy being live at the show, is it? How, how's your internet connection, Ty? Are you good where you're at? Yeah, I'm good. As yeah. long as you can hear and see me, we're great. All right. Now, okay, wait, cool. I, did you already? I know you introduced Kate. Is Caitlin's coming? There on she next, is. Right? No, it's time <laughs> to introduce her. What's? Oh, she's here. She's here. Hey, Caitlin. Uh, I don't know what section of the hotel you're at, but my Wi-Fi is not as good as yours. <laughs> Oh, you know what I do? I don't use Wi-Fi. I'm on like 5G or something. I don't use it up here. I've noticed like when I'm in the transport parking lot at the auction, I don't use their Wi-Fi either. <laughs> That's, yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> wow, I'm so excited that you're here. I'm, I've been following you on, I met, I met, I don't know, that sounds weird, but I found you on LinkedIn and I saw your Columbus Fair Auto Auction. I actually kind of connected with you before yeah. I met Black Widow. And I've been watching all of your social media on LinkedIn, and you do an amazing job. You really do. Thank you. Uh, putting out a lot and great ideas that, you know, I take some of your ideas and use them when I'm teaching car hauler guys how to go talk to car dealers. When you guys take the Slim Jims and the whatever you guys take. So it's really good. Good job. You're doing great. Yeah. Kaylin, thank you so much for joining us. Please say hello. Introduce yourself to any folks that are in the live chat that aren't familiar with you and Columbus Fair Auto Auction. Can you guys hear me okay? We can hear you. We can see you. Thank you. First of all, thank you so much for that. That means a lot. You know, a lot of times my team has me doing crazy things like standing in a river or riding a bicycle through the lobby. 
Um, you know, that's definitely owed to them. But, you know, uh, so I'm Caitlin Shirk. I'm the general sales manager from Columbus Fair Auto Auction. Columbus Fair Auto Auction is part of the Accelerate Auction Group. Um, and I will actually have been with them for a year next month. So I'm originally from Nashville. Um, and, you know, I've been wanting to partner with Black Widow for quite some time now. So the opportunity at Columbus Fair, you know, was, was really exciting for me. Um, a little bit about me, I grew up in the business. So my parents are both in the industry. So, you know, I had the rare opportunity to learn growing up, you know, from the registration process to, you know, helping in the front counter to how the cars go through the sale, simulcast, fleet lease. Um, and, you know, now I get to apply that and help, you know, Columbus Fair, you know, embrace different technologies and different processes to make all of that happen. Um, you know, and Columbus Fair is known for excellent customer service, right? So you have 60 years of a brand that has embraced its customers. And as we talk about this new technology, you know, we're talking about how customer service is going to look different to every person that you talk to today. Not to mention in our business, you know, you have so many colliding generations of how people want to do business. So companies like Black Widow only help enhance, you know, that opportunity to really serve everybody's needs. Wow. Okay, so you grew up in, I didn't know this about you. That's really interesting. So you grew up in the, the car business, auction business? I did, yes. Okay, wow. When I was like eight years old, I was in one of the Mannheim sales putting like fishbowl giveaways together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, hot dogs in lane eight, right? Yes, exactly. Remember the, okay, okay. <laughs> fishbowl in lane six. Well, so you've been doing this for a long time. You're in Columbus Fair Auto Auction, Columbus, Ohio, right? And you're the general manager there. Now, before Black Widow came in, what what did you, did you guys even have online sale? So we did. Um, you know, back to you know the the topic of labor. Um, you know, our sale our sale volume in a normal time, you know, would be two thousand plus units in the sale every week. Um, you know, and a lot of that, you know, some you, some clients you have a timeline where you can prepare. You know, you can find that group of people to go out and take the pictures. There's no consistency, right? That was one of the big points for us. Um, but, you know, especially when you have cars coming from Mondays and Tuesdays for 8.45 a.m. sale, you know, it's hard to find people who want to work late or work early to go out there in the elements, not, you know, if it's winter, if it's summer, um, and really get out there and take some, some really good pictures, especially if, you know, our expectations of images, especially from the customer's perspective, is going to be di different than the person actually taking the images. They might not understand, you know, the importance of the sunroof or, you know, the dent in the side or, you know, making sure that you get the whole front seat. Does it have navigation? Um, so, you know, for us, it allows us to really funnel all of our inventory through, you know, and get consistent, quick pictures. Wow. Okay. So, be, so before, what, like, how did you do it? Did you use the, I heard we somebody had, say, go ahead. Yeah, we had, we had people go out with um, iPads and iPad, so okay. any car that was set to sale, you know, we'd go out there and locate those vehicles and we'd go and take the images. Right. Okay. So now you have Black Widow set up. So I'm assuming it's a stationary or is it the hangman or how, which one, how do you have? Yeah. So we have the hangman. Um, okay. We actually have it located in our recon shop. So, you know, it's it's kind of a two-stop shop for any of our customers that use our, our recon services. So especially for our fleet lease customers, you know, that allows us to clean the vehicle and then the person who last touches the car pulls it into the Black Widow system. And by the time that they get the car pulled up there, you know, the next person jumps in and takes it and puts it on spot. So there's no, there's no time it's delay. No, it's very smooth and it's very consistent. Right. And so uh, I heard you say like 2000 cars a week. That's a lot of cars, right? Yeah, that's a lot of hustle. So one of the things you guys do is and I the only reason I know this because I follow you on uh, LinkedIn, but like literally you guys hop in the car and go door to door to door to dealer to dealer to dealer. Is that right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Car hauler guys, listen to me. Everybody thinks I'm crazy, okay? Everybody. And I am. I'm crazy Ty. Ty the transport guy in the transport parking lot. I'm telling I'm telling people in 2021, it's okay to go talk to a car dealer and ask them, can I have your business? 
Can I earn your business? So beautiful uh, demonstration. If you guys aren't following Caitlin, if you guys aren't going to the auction, Caitlin's auction, you should check it out. These, these, this group of people is really doing a bang up job on servicing the customer. Who's the customer, right? Consigner, remarketer, those big words that we don't know, right? <laughs> Cause we're car haulers. <laughs> What's a consigner? <laughs> but anyway, keep going. You're, you've got the Black Widow in. And you've had it in there for two months, three? I believe it's been three months. Three months. And what are you seeing now as compared to? So, you know, originally we had already made some adjustments that allowed us to. Our simulcast numbers increased by 250% with a couple of other changes. And then, you know, we brought Black Widow into that and that allowed us to really lock those customers in as well as reach out to anybody that is especially out of state, you know, because people looking for, if it has a sunroof navigation, you know, like I said earlier, the damages, there's no question about it. You know, they really do have every angle of the car that they could possibly need to get their, their questions answered. Um, and, you know, we talk about colliding generations, you know, one of the things that I do when I walk into a dealership is I ask them, how do you want to do business? Because, you know, as independent auctions, we have such a rare opportunity, like I said earlier, to really embrace that. You know, if you want to come to the auction and you want to stand in the lane, you want to walk around the car, you know, you can have that experience and, you know, you'll still see those Black Widow images up on the screens. They still give you the full, you know, 360. It's on the run list. You can look at it beforehand, you know, or if you want to, buy your cars on upstream, OVE, smart auction, open lane, you know, we can do that and you still get those black widow images. So I think another one of the main points for us as an independent auction is that, you know, their system follows our customer. It's not just, well, if you do business this way with the auction, that's the only place you get to see those really fancy pictures. You know, that's the only place you can really see the interior. You can have every angle, you know, it follows our customers no matter how they want to do business, which is huge. Wow. That is huge. So, Tell me this 250% increase one more time. This was before? There was a partnership between Auction Edge and Black Widow. I think between the two coming in within the same two weeks, um, you know, we definitely saw, you know, the numbers proved it. It was 250% increase um, <laughs> on our simulcast percentage. So. Oh, my gosh. That, that is fantastic. Great. Okay. Well, Caitlin, <clears throat> I'm going to give it over to somebody else. I feel like I've hogged it all up here, but amazing. And thank you. Really, really. Thank you so much. And I'll be sure and find you sometime tomorrow or the next day and give you a high five. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That it is. I mean, Ty, well done. You did a great job. Um, and Caitlin, you've got so much amazing information. Do me a favor. You mentioned auction edge. Um, tell us more about how the Auction Edge and Black Widow relationship, how that worked together to help your auction. So, you know, first thing is the integration. You know, the integration between the two was as easy as it could be for an auction. You know, a lot of times when we speak of integrations, they're, they're just not simple. They're not, you don't have much confidence in them. Um, but, you know, that's definitely a compliment to both teams. Um, you know, it was, it was extremely easy for the auction to say, yes, let's do it, turn it on. Um, and, you know, we did have a few hiccups with um, going into the upstream platform. So anything that we sell 24 um, seven, but, you know, it was still an easy process for the auction. Everything got resolved quickly and, you know, our customers never saw either parties skip a beat. So definitely appreciate the easy integration. Here's a question on where you put the Black Widow. You've got it in the recon center. Was it hard to figure that out or was that a no brainer? Recon for our auction was a no brainer because we have so many fleet lease vehicles in a normal market that they're already spending money on their cars. So we want to be able to showcase that to our full ability, right? So if, if I'm asking somebody to pay $25 to get trash out of their vehicle, I want to make sure I can display them what that 20, $25 really got out of their car. Um, you know, I definitely think that there's an opportunity for another place for a Black Widow. Um, because not all of our cars go through recon. Um, but, you know, if the car is there early enough, we do try to get some people to drive it back through the, the imaging system. But, you know, we talk about labor. That's also a benefit. You know, even though it's located in a place that maybe not all of our cars funnel through, we still have the capability to, 
somebody who might not know how to, you know, work an iPad or, you know, take pictures, they can still get those cars imaged because you, it, the process is so easy. Okay, One, so yeah, just real ahead. quick, Ty, sorry, please, no, Ty, yeah, take well, over, yes. <laughs> well, what, so I always think about the carrier that's watching the show. We, we try to be transport guys. And if I'm, if I'm a carrier and I'm listening to this, I'm thinking, what does this have to do with me and hauling cars, right? It's just pictures. Well, it has a lot to do, right, Caitlin? It does. I bet Caitlin can probably even touch on this a little bit, can't you? I can to some degree. <laughs> you know, I okay, think the well, thing right now, too, is it's protection for you guys. You know, there's no question about what that car looked like when it was at the auction or, you know, when the customer purchased it. You know, we have a solid, you know, background to say, hey, this is exactly how we had the vehicle. Yeah. And then the other thing, too, which I know you know this part of the auction, which is arbitration. Yes. Uh, you, you heard, are you going to catch up with Matt tomorrow? I'm going to try to. <laughs> <laughs> that anyway, I'm looking forward to that. I really am. But again, uh, <clears throat> the Black Widow. My my point is, guys that are watching this, they're the transport guys. They they just want to haul cars. And that's okay, guys. But we also need to understand the auction. And the reason I like to talk about the auction, Caitlin <clears throat> can say she knows this. There, the opportunity for a dealer, a carrier, a, a vendor that has something to do with cars at an auction is huge. That's just my opinion. I also believe independent auctions have great opportunity right now. And if you're listening to Caitlin, you can hear her talking. We do. We can we can cater to the dealer. How do you want to do business? This way or this way, right? And so seeing those things as a carrier, I promise it, it intersects, you know, probably intersect mostly if there's damage for the carrier, right? Yep. All right. Okay, I'm done. Definitely. What I did was I added Steve Gurch from Montana Auto Auction before we, because we've we only got, we have limited time with Caitlin. Before we let her go, I just wanted to bring Steve in. Steve, will you please say hello? It's been a couple months since we've seen you. Please say hello again to the Auto Transport Intel audience, and then, uh, and then we're going to keep this going. Yeah, I don't, you sound like you're on a roll, so I don't want to take a lot of time, but hello, everybody. Uh, good to be here. Steve, where are you at again? Somewhere in Montana, right? Yeah, Billings, Montana. Billings, Montana. You do you have you own an auction, right? Uh, well, I don't own it. My bro my brothers uh, will be a future owner, so that's how I get roped into it. <laughs> well, that's good. So you're running the show, or you're yeah, running the and show. And they yep. have a Black Widow. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Couple and of the first the first Black Widow in an auction. Wow. First Black Widow. Now I like I want I want to hear your story again, Steve. Jay and I talk about you all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Steve Gurch. Truth. <laughs> so, Truth. Yeah. You're up in Billings, Montana. What tell us a little bit before Black Widow. Like how many cars were you running a week? How were you taking photos? Yeah, so we were uh we were running any, anywhere between five and seven hundred a week. And we were doing like what everybody else pretty much had where it all apps on your phone and so you know it's walking around doing photos individually and so forth and uh, it was it was killing us um lack of consistency took took triple or quadruple the time and so i had actually i looked i like you say my brother's more in charge but he basically i'm the doer so uh i was in charge to basically lead the charge on and get our online stuff up to par and so I, I looked at everything. Uh, there are a whole bunch of apps, different versions, uh, different tunnels you can buy, spin, you know, all kinds of stuff. And, and uh, you know, Black Widow is the one we selected, and it's we've never looked back. As soon as we put it in, it cut our man hours. Like, well, I cut it down to where, where I'm down to one man can, can do CRs for, you know, anywhere – uh, you know, we're right now we're real consistent, 530 to 630 cars a week, and it's, it's primarily one man that handles it all now. Wow, that's a huge. That's a lot. That, that's a lot. That's just to me. That's a lot. I don't know if people understand how many cars that really is. 2,500, 600 doesn't matter. That's a lot of cars to touch, right? Yeah, yeah, and well, especially now, anybody in the the, the employment world with everything going on is 
it's a challenge getting employees, especially people that are in the, the you know, the 12 to $18 range. Good, good luck. And so this, I'm just grateful we went with it early on because we didn't miss a heartbeat. We just, we've been able to keep rolling because we didn't need to have, basically on my busy days, I would have five guys out there. Um, and so now it's occasionally I have to have one guy and a, and a half, you know, a half a day, another guy will go in and help if we're really backed up. Right. So you also had some really cool stats on your online presence, pre mm-hmm. black widow, mm-hmm. after black widow. What are, what are some of your, we heard Caitlin, Caitlin went to <laughs> 250%. Foo. How about you? Yeah. So per, percentage wise for us, we, we anywhere, you know, most auctions really sell, um, 10 to 25 percent i guess depends on the market in fairness you know um we went from selling you know 15 percent of our cars were online to where we've been as high as 40 percent through uh you know the the challenges we're all facing with you know everything but but i could never have handled the volume we're doing without black widow it, it would have been impossible so the vol- we, we, now when go ahead yeah we would we would have had to either not done photos on cars or on certain lanes or i would be there all night on tuesday night getting ready for wednesday so neither i'll take (laughs) neither of those (laughs) right right well okay so uh i was going to online sales increased right significantly the man hours decreased significantly there's a there's a better flow right because, I mean, here's the thing. As a, as a transport guy, anybody that's hauled cars to an auction, for a dealer, to an auction, for the sale tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me say that again. Anybody that has picked up cars for the dealer the day, night before the sale. I don't care what day the sale is. You understand there's a different kind of pressure that it only comes with this industry, Right. There's a, the, the dealer is expecting my cars, his cars, to be delivered to the sale tomorrow morning at 7, who is also expecting Steve, Caitlin, to make sure those cars are in where they belong and bring money, right? Right. And the, the whole other level that is, it's, 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 a, it's almost funny now because I've been the one leading the charge for 14 years there with technology i'm not a technology guy but i was pushing for it and now it went from hey a a cr was a good idea to where the number one call i was getting prior to black widow is why aren't my car crs well because they showed up at four o'clock on tuesday and i am going full bore to cram them through detail to get them washed to get them back in and so we, we were we were spending many hours late on Tuesday to, to get it done. Well, now I can literally bring bring them in, wash them off, drive them through a tunnel, and it takes the pictures and at least picture it online. And that's the shocking thing is now everybody's used to. I mean, our D lane cars are junkers. I mean, they're they're just it's it's the dealer trades, high mile stuff. You can drive them through the Black Widow because it does such a good job on taking pictures. Our dealers are comfortable buying them just with pictures. <laughs> On the so, D-Lane cars? Yep. yep. Wow. That's yep. a huge, that's big. Yeah. Okay. So, guys, what I'm trying to show you here, if you've gotten that phone call, hey, how come the cars aren't at the auction? We can't find them. And you're starting to panic because you know you're in trouble because you dropped them off at 830 instead of at 730. There's a reason why these guys get upset. And Steve's making a great point. I always used to be like, okay, well, you didn't have the cars ready until five. I'm an hour away. It took me an hour to get there, load them. It took me three hours to drive there, an hour to unload, and an hour to check them in. And everybody's mad because why? Because they were supposed to be there to get pictures for online sale. So <clears throat> the reason I'm making a point of bringing, talking about this is because the Black Widow and, you know, Jason, I've heard Jason talk like this, you know, there, there's, there's a pressure that comes with this business. This this takes a lot of pressure off everybody. Am I yeah, right? Sure. A lot of pressure. So Jason had made some comments, points, maybe the first or second time he was on the show. He's like, OK, look, the transport guys at 
at the auction trying to pick the cars up. The dealer's at the lot. The dealer wants the cars. Hurry up. Well, here's your pictures. Take a break. Go smoke a cigarette. You know, calm down. We're, we're getting the cars. We're bringing them. This, to me, works just as good, if not even maybe better, for that dealer that is trying to get the cars kind of rounded up, ready to go. Okay, well, no problem. We'll shoot. We'll be there at 8.15. Slide them in. Bang, 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 bang. Run them through. Everybody's happy. Mm-hmm. Is that kind of how it goes? Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's that's a whole end that, that phase two of what we're, we're really going to be focusing on over the next. Because as an auction, we got to constantly innovate as well with with what's going on out there and the lots of competition of, you know, various technologies now. And so that's that's our, our next push coming up here will be dealer buys the car at our auction. We offer them the photos as part of the package deal. Um, and so the, he'll have the photos already uploaded to his website um, before the before the car leaves, because in any more. So what customer goes online, finds the car, they see they like it, they see the photos. They're not the the cookie cut out picture now they they can see the car they want even if it's a week out just just for us where we're at if 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 guys get their cars within a week of buying them we call that lightning fast <laughs> so. what do you call it caitlin <laughs> i would agree it's definitely lightning fast <laughs> fast yeah That's yeah good. no it, it you know how it is i mean everybody wants them. they buy them today they don't they, they'll all take them they'll They'd love them this afternoon, but they'll take them tomorrow morning. Would be fine, and that's that's just yeah. not the reality. Hey, Amazon, I need it now. I need it now. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Um, so one, this is a little off topic, but not really. I am curious, uh, Steve and Caitlin both. <clears throat> what are you guys seeing, like in in the physical auction? Are you, are you starting to see it ramp back up, or did you see any miss, or what? What are you seeing, like physically, people showing up? Uh, Steve, we'll start with you. Okay, so f- for us, um, we shut down for two weeks with COVID. Um, so we've all we've had people in the lanes as as far as buyers in the lanes, pretty much the entire time. Um, be- because there's been a shortage of cars, our numbers went our numbers went down quite far, down to where we were running 400 a week, but prices shot up so high that it made a lot of sense to send your cars to auction. So then our numbers went back up to 700 plus. And now we're back in the phase of, of we're still waiting on factories to get new cars. And, and so, you know, we we're seeing things dip down a little bit as far as uh, numbers of cars. So I expect, again, we're going to see another spike in, in demand. Cause I mean, we, it, it's kind of been the best of both worlds. When the numbers went down, we sell 75 or 80% which I would love to hold those numbers all the time. Um, but, uh, you know, overall good. But here's the interesting thing. Since we've been able to be more consistent with our stuff, I have good buyers that, that came every week, every week. But it's a three and a half hour drive. And I saw him last week for the first time in uh, probably a year and a half. And he, he buys 100% online now. And we're seeing that more and more. We've got a certain group that are just, they like to touch and feel them, but, but our online presence is significantly stronger. Good, good, good. Caitlin, what do you see? Well, you know, I would agree with you, Um, you know, especially with COVID, you know, Columbus Fair did uh, have to go strictly digital. Um, That was a little bit before my time, so I won't speak too much onto what that environment was like um, because I was still in Nashville at that time. I know for Nashville, I think we shut down for two weeks. Um, That was it. We were doors open after that. Um, But when I came to Columbus, you know, we were having some issues with different, just a mixture of things from, you know, um, our software to our imaging process to our simulcast system. Um, You know, so I think when we put all of those things in place, you know, we started to see our simulcast numbers increase uh, because we still didn't have the presence in the lanes that we usually were used to, right? So I think that we got a lot of people locked in on simulcast, and now we're starting to see, you know, the inventory is not there, but the people are, at least for Columbus Fair. You know, we, we have seen a huge increase in our number of dealers showing up to the sale each week, even with our inventory as low as it is. 
So, you know, our simulcast has made, remain consistent and our in-lane attendance has also gone up. You know, I'm not sure. I know people are starting to talk about, is there going to be another wave of, of you know, heavy COVID? Um, so I'm not sure. I haven't seen any effects yet with our dealer attendance. Um, but right now we definitely have seen an increase of people staining in the lanes for sure. Good, good. Well, I'm, uh, I'm always excited to be in an auction, <clears throat> whether anybody's there or not. But I always love to see a full auction, right? Definitely. It's a packed house. <laughs> when it's a packed okay. house so <laughs> a pack. so we all right so i want to say a couple of things it's 9 30 we're in our final quarter of the show now if anybody needs to go and i don't know because i don't know what folks schedules are like if you need to go if you can hang on for a few more minutes great but i always you know never want to keep anybody when they can't stay so here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna bring in sky because what amazing timing, because we were just getting excited about people returning to the physical auction, but to shake it up, oh, why do we do it? We're going to bring in Sky Hallman of One Auction View. It is the year of the hybrid, and, and uh, well, hybrid in all things. So here we have Sky. Can you see us and hear us okay? Yes, sir. I got you. How are you guys? Great. Good. Good. Please, please say hello and introduce yourself, and then Ty's going to kick off with some more questions. Yeah, hello, everybody. My name is Sky Hallman, and I'm the founder of One Auction View. I have a uh, service for uh, car dealers and buyers to use our platform to uh, search for and aggregate their vehicles uh, online through all their different auctions, uh, obviously, like Steve's auction and, so, and, uh, and uh, the Columbus Fair auction as well. Wow. So you mean you're saying you have you you've built a platform where you can get you can buy cars from Steve and Caitlin. At no problem. As long as you subscribe to those auctions and you you've got them and those are those are edge pipeline auctions. So uh, as long as you're on the edge pipeline, you're going to get their inventory. Wow. And okay. then obviously you have to sign up with those auctions directly through edge uh and and uh i'm sure you guys could elaborate on that uh more on that process if you know the handshakes and so forth well the one of the reasons i'm really excited to have you on is you you're a vert you're an online auction guy you you come from old school right you you grew up in auctions just like the rest of us but yeah. you've been converted heavy so much yeah. so you built this amazing platform right <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, I'm I'm a car guy. I mean, I'm I I touch and feel the edge of the hood to see the paintwork and kick the tires and smell it and listen to the lifter noise and you know I'm that I'm that car guy through and through. But you know times change and and you yeah you know, all the years of me going to the sale and standing in a lane talking with my buddies waiting for car number two forty five and letting <laughs> to roll through, you know. I'm burning three hours looking at my watch. The office is texting me. They're blowing me up. Hey, I got this trade. What's it worth? What's going? You know what I mean? So, I I'm burning up time. I could be at the office. I could be. I could do all this stuff and in five other states and ten other auctions, uh, all in front of my PC. It's just it's efficiency. Do you want to? Do you want to be have a, a square tire on your car or do you want a round tire? You know? Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. So that's, so this is guys, if you're paying attention, right. Sky Holman converted from, I got to go to the auction and inhale exhaust all day to <laughs> I'm buying online. Right. I yeah. don't need the hot and, dogs or the popcorn. And here's yeah. the thing too. Sky's in a tough position because I think pretty much everybody here loves the hot dogs in lane eight and wants to be at the physical auction. Um, but, but I, I want to say this for perspective, we know that, the hybridization is happening at the show, so we're recreating the controversy right here, live. Yeah. Well, the good. So here's the good news, and this is why I'm really excited to have Sky, because Sky will tell you one thing that's really important in this online stuff, right, Sky? What's really important when you're buying cars online? Pictures and CR. I mean, <laughs> I I I preach that all the time to everybody. And I'm on LinkedIn. And I'm always tagging Carr or Cox or any of those guys and saying, "Pictures, CR, pictures, CR. Look, look at Carr bought CarWave 450 million because of their CR. They're, they're, those guys. If you look at CarWave, they kill it on their CR process. 
their CR process is beautiful, you know, but the key is pictures, guys, pictures, pictures. Okay. And why, why, why do you need pictures? Because so we're much, buying, guys? we're buying off of, we're buying your cars. We're buying your cars off of a picture. We're not touching and feeling them, you know, okay. like we're standing in the lane. We, we gotta, we gotta have the car clearly represented. And I think that's fantastic. What, what Joel and Jason are doing. And I, I see those cars ironically today there was a, a jeep at uh, uh dallas that i was looking at a photo that was i could tell it was yours and i looked in closer and i could see the machine in the background so i knew it was you guys and then and then there was one in uh, minnesota that had like seven photos on it and i'm like dude what are you can't they're blurry and they're horrible it's uh you know not okay, naming so the auction not naming the auction right no that's fine but so what you're saying is is you're a guy who buys cars online pretty much exclusively now. Three years, 100%. Haven't set foot you, in an auction. You've spent a lot of time and a lot of money to build a platform, a technology that allows you to manage that. Okay, I'm excited because out of all of that experience, all of that money, all of that time, and all that energy into this where you are today, you say pictures are absolutely important. And if I'm hearing you, you're even saying like, I was online today and I knew the difference between that picture and that picture. Oh, with, so, without a doubt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That I don't know if anybody else caught that, but yeah. <laughs> did you just hear that? Oh, and, and in fact, he knows the pictures so well, he's immediately making comparisons, which is, I mean, we all do that with media because we, we, we all know media so well. Jason, you got courtesy mute. And I think he had something. No, for sure. That's no. just the full transparency, right? Pictures worth a thousand words. So. Well, I think it goes back to, you know, we talked about how every customer service is different to every person you talk to, right? So, you know, you converted from somebody who bought cars in lane to somebody who bought cars online. You know, I think that that's where Black Widow is key. You know, I talked earlier today about how Accelerate, you know, purchased Liquid Motors. You know, I'm excited for that acquisition because I know that to your point, you know, customers, especially on any platform that is strictly online, they're only going to be looking at those images, you know, so I, I, I'm excited to be partnering with you guys. Unfortunately, though, I do have to get back to the conference, so I'm going to use this. I my know you did. We <laughs> appreciate thank you so you much. So much, Caitlin. Thank you thanks, for taking Caitlin. the time. Yeah, to thanks, us. Caitlin. Thank you, you have to hang out with all of us. They all have uh, faces for radio, don't they? It's okay. When oh, <laughs> shucks. We'll be seeing, Ty, we'll be seeing you around the conference, Caitlin. Thank you so yeah, much for your time. Guys. Nice to meet you. It was great. I'm so happy. Very cool. Do, I, do we have anybody else coming on, Jay? We are now. You're stuck with us. Just us radio guys. Yeah. Radio face. <laughs> radio faces. So I guess where I'm going back to, and, and I'm, Sky, I'm so thankful Sky took the time because it really illustrates to me the, the value of the importance. So the question is, you got everybody here talking about how cool this is. So how do we get this into more auctions? That's, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Sky, can you help us out with that? You know, I think it's, I think it's awareness. the The problem with our industry in general is we are the slowest moving, adapting industry on this planet. I mean, we still fax stuff. I mean, it's it, we have Oki data printers, dot, you know, dot matrix yeah. printers. I just paged Ty earlier. You <laughs> yeah. did what? I yeah, paged I, you. I beeped. Oh, page. Yeah. 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 Beep, beep. <laughs> I forgot I mean, about the page. I mean, God, we, we need to, we need, and I think, you know, in all the years I've been doing this since the, since the, the nineties, I've been in the, in this, in this industry, it's, it's been the, it's almost every year, you know, exactly how it's going to be, how it's going to happen. And really it only started changing really since 08. It's really when it started getting unraveled in 08, when, you know, gas went crazy and everything unraveled. And, and then from there, it just, it seemed like it's been evolving and adapting and changing. And now technology is getting mm -hmm. a stranglehold on, on our industry. And people are like, you know, hey, this is cool. It makes my life easier. And some people are, you know what? No, I'm, I'm an ostrich. I'm putting my head in, in the ground. And, and nope, the round world's still flat, you know? Right. 
<clears throat> um, yeah. And, th and that changed. So, so you're also seeing change. And I'm, I'm thinking about Steve, right? Steve, Steve is also in charge of transportation. Is that right, Steve? No, we, we've got seven. Thank heavens. I couldn't handle another thing. Um, <laughs> we, we do have, we do have seven of our own trucks. Right. And, and so we had to do that because in our, our area, uh, we would have half the cars at the auction if we didn't go get them ourselves. So I've got, <laughs> um, Hey, before we go forward, I want to do this. There's a video I want to share. I want to talk about a couple things because there's still, you were hitting upon it. If there are people that are like, you know, gosh, I hear what you're saying, but can I see something, right? Show me what we're talking about. So here, I want to roll this. Hang on one second. Let me, uh, okay, you can see the screen. Okay. Cool. Uh, move that from the auction site the vehicle sold it's already in the lane Black Widow's in the lane Black Widow removes the background and it's ready for your site it is super fast and not only that not only is it ready for your site but as as Sky was talking about I find that it's so interesting. I almost want to, I would love to ask Sky, I, w I wish we didn't coordinate this, but I'd love an, some examples of photos that, you know, you thought, wow, these are just bad. Like, this doesn't help me at all. Um, and I, can't, I, I know we can't go into some of that. So yeah. have, think about that for a second. I want to show another video. This was, um, first of all, if you don't know, you go to blackwidowimaging.com and you can schedule a live demo. That's something you want to do. You go to blackwidowimaging.com, schedule a live demo. How about this video? Now, I'm not running... Uh, let's see here. I'm not running audio because we don't need the audio part. But... Again, your the the cars are running, and instead of three a day, was it three a day? Now you have forty a day, because there's a black widow plate on the floor, tire hits it, bang 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 bang, right? In fact, I think that's the noise it makes, bang bang bang. Okay. <laughs> I like the roof photos. Those are as a dealer, that is, you almost never get roof photos from any auction unless there's they're calling out damage. Hey, this thing's got, you know, a big dent, but even then you don't, you don't know unless someone actually CRs it. That's a good looking auction, by the way. Yeah. I like that auction. It's good looking. <laughs> this is a great video. Uh, let's see. We can either watch a Steve Buscemi video or, Another Black Widow event. The Black Widow imaging okay, system no, produces high-quality digital images hey, of your God. product. I don't want to listen to it. I can hear the audio, but you can't. All right. There we go. So now this one we've got. Oh, it's so easy. Anyone can do it. Oh, anyone. I liked that. And she was talking about the weather. Or the photographer doesn't know what the auction wants. Such a great point, right? Because you could hire the most professional photographer, but if they don't know what you're looking for, why do you have to go through that learning curve? Oh, the plate, there it is. So he stops the car. Okay, this is if you're, yeah, if you're doing it by yourself, right, this would be, would this be kind of like the recon center, how that would work? Yep, or dealer. Or the dealer, right. Okay, so you get out, park it on the plate, and then, what do you call that? 360 interior cam. 360 interior cam set it on the okay and then do you press a button on that what do you call that station is that a workstation yep it's just a workstation computer and everything so you're just using the scanner from that so if you're doing the interiors you do it this way if you're doing the auto scan like steve does it just as the outside you don't have to get out of the car right the interior is for the interior photos gotcha and then do you go to the workstation and hit a button or how does it know when to start capturing 
once it's captured a, a VIN number that it knows is real, then it actually automatically loads. So there's no uploading process. So we take all the hard stuff out of it. It's all coded by VIN number. And this 360 image, you can move yep. it around with your mouse kind of deal? Yep, it's all interactive. Wow. And it was like that fast? Oh. Yeah, so if you're just doing the outside, it's under 10 seconds. If you're doing the rest of it, it's about three seconds. Yeah, just like the easy button. The easy button. How do you get how do you get one of these easy buttons? What do you have to do? Oh, you yeah. just come see us at NAAA. We'll get you one. You don't have to answer like five hard questions or no. anything crazy? Just We don't like anything hard. We did all the hard stuff. We don't like <laughs> easy stuff. You, you're going to you're going to like love about you guys. We've got we've got other stuff coming to you that's really going to blow you away. So uh, uh, both on the swag side and both on the announcement side. You guys uh, my birthday month is September and we're going to be having an announcement about every 10 days all the way to NAAA, so Stay tuned. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. I'm going to start showing up to those meetings. <laughs> right on. Yeah. So, all right. So that's the thing. Okay. We're in our last quarter hour. Let's talk about what's next. So we've got uh, tomorrow at noon uh, on Auto Transport Intel. We're going to be live from IARA. Jason, Joel, you're able to join us for that segment? Yes, we are. So we'll do a live demo ourselves. So we're gonna all right. So we're gonna have Black Widow with us. Mm -hmm. Ty, you're gonna be. Are, so you're gonna hit the podcast thing in the morning, and then we have a live segment at noon. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Boy. You know I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mm -hmm. probably rope in somebody for something. It, you, I, I'm gonna. I like to make friends and make connections. So be ready for a special guest. I don't know. Yeah. Well. Okay. Well. Hey, well, buddy. Well, exactly. Buddy. We have. Hey. Hey, buddy. is guaranteed. <laughs> But I would really like to see, because we'll be live for one hour, especially if we have Black Widow with us, I would love to see if we can rope in Matt Arias for a segment. Even yeah, I was thinking about him, but I was really looking for an auction that maybe he has never heard of Black Widow. That's kind of my favorite. Ooh, that's my goal. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Crazy eyes. Yeah, that's a, that's a real hey, buddy. All right, hey, so, buddy. so we have the live segment at noon tomorrow with Black Widow. And we've also got Martin. Martin couldn't be here tonight, by the way. Isn't that a great article that he wrote up in Vehicle Remarketing? I mean, yeah. so much information. Yeah, um, really and um, so Martin is going to be live with us. So we're going to be able to, uh, we're gonna, we got Martin, Ty. Hopefully Becky can join us for a little bit of segment. Black Widow. we got the Hey Buddy. Um, <laughs> wow. That's going to be amazing. That's tomorrow. Yeah. That's what's next. And that'll be good and um yeah I, I i guess one of the things i'm excited about being here and for you transport guys who are like well you guys shut up about black widow and shut up about auctions no i won't the reason i'm excited about being here is because really honestly the more you understand the dealer the more you understand the auction the more you understand what happens from here to here and back the easier your life will be and i'm yeah. not saying easy because Car hauling is not, not easy. easy. No, none right? of it's easy. It's just none about accountability and showing how hard everybody is truly working. I kind of feel like I invented Tylenol or something, right? You know, because we're all dirt balls until that image is actually on the site for sale. That's when the clock stops. But the clock starts the minute they buy it. So, I mean, for me, you know, doing all this for, you know, a decade, jumping up and down saying, listen to me, right? is that I was the trucker, I was the detailer, I was the PDR guy, I was the dealer, I was working at the auction doing stuff, I was the touch-up guy, I was all of that. I was organizing all that chaos. And when I realized I couldn't buy more trucks, I couldn't run more hours, I had to come up with a way of pushing the finish line and giving accountability for the boots on the ground that were giving it everything they got, from shifting to freaking scrapping to touching up to dents. And that's, and that's what's cool about this conversation. It's nice to be able to hear because I no longer have to jump up and down because everybody needs some aspirin right now. You know, they got a headache, right? And uh, the credibility to be able to show that image immediately, I think it gives credit where credit's due. You know, instead of because they don't they don't understand what it's like behind a wheel, sleep, you know, tired, energy drinks, running late, getting there, you know, traffic. They don't understand any of that. They all think that the the car gets Bluetooth there. Well, 
finally we can do that with this system. So it helps everybody in all aspects, I mean, from the digital or in the auction, trucking, et cetera. Uh, that's what's exciting about it for us is that, you know, we're no longer having to jump up and down. Everybody's saying, hey, here's the answer. It helps. You're not going to so, believe this. It's right here, Jason. I wrote energy drink. Yeah. In my notes, Black yeah. Widow should be an energy drink because we understand car haulers. <laughs> That's right. There we go. Hey, 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 That's a great a idea, Jack. Strapping cars is not easy. Black Widow energy. That's right. That's great. So. Well, guys, that was awesome. I'm pumped. I don't know. Uh, but Steve. Be- oh, sorry, Jack. But before we go, we have one other thing to talk about. I know you got to go. And AAA next month. Jason teed it up, and we are man, we are we're driving. Yeah. Was that a five weeks away? Yeah, five weeks Ooh. away in Chicago. Yeah. Now Whoa. that's going to be a different type of event, but um, more of because I'm not at IARA. Jason, you're not there. This so this will be the virtual right in the in the world of the hybrid. This is our virtual event. But we're all going to be physically at NAAA in Chicago. So yes, we'll have a display. Away. Yep, we'll have a display at NAAA, so we'll all be there. Um, that'll be good. That'll be a good one to see everybody. I got some different swag too. I got something that uh, uh, you know, if you're losing sleep on your imaging, I got something else for you. So we're going right from the easy button right into another thing. So we got some new <laughs> announcements coming up. You know, with the uh, imaging, and then on the CR side and the AI side. So. We're gonna we're gonna keep uh, keep dosing up the uh, the Tylenol. Anybody's got a headache in this industry, anywhere along the supply chain, I'm here. We're all here to help. So, and I also want to give a shout out, Steve. You know, one of the reasons we talk, Steve's got to be thinking. Now, why do they talk about me all the time? We talk about uh, we talk about you because when when you were with us last time, you kept talking about all these different ideas you were having, and we love people that keep coming up with ideas, right? <laughs> Because that's where, and that's where the, this digital divide keeps getting more spread out. Because you got all these folks at the forefront surfing the digital wave and, and with all the changes, and then you got somebody still beeping each other through a fax machine. Right. That's good. Sky, <laughs> thank you so much, too, buddy. I really appreciate what you're doing. And for anybody that doesn't know, Sky's gaining some traction. What was that deal you were doing here a week or two? I did vote for you, by the way. What was that about? Oh, uh, Automotive Ventures uh, uh, with Steve Greenfield. So we're we're trying to go for the uh, top ten uh, automotive startups. Yeah, I voted for you on that one. Thank you. I appreciate your vote. <clears throat> Good job. But anyway, uh, Sky Holman, Steve, Jason, Joel, Caitlin. Who we? Who am I missing? You got it, man. That's it. That's the Jay. Oh, oh. Jay, but no, uh, great show, man. I'm really excited and looking forward to talking to you two tomorrow. That'll be good. I'm going to learn a lot. I'm going to go to bed now. Good night. Yeah, man. All right. Good job, well, guys. We're going to let guys. you go. Yeah. Photos. Thanks, That's Joe. Well done, Ty. Good job, buddy. Hey, guys. Yeah, man. Thanks, guys. And I want to yeah, reiterate what Ty said. I want to thank everybody for taking the time and joining tonight. Another great show. Thank you, Black Widow Imaging. There's so much great information. It was really cool seeing everybody in the panel tonight. So, we're out. Thank you, Steve. And yeah, thanks, guys. that's good. Thank you so much for joining, Steve. Thanks, guys. Yeah, good time. Thanks. Wow, that was a huge cough. I think I got that offline, which is good. Man, here's another. I got another one. Somebody got the COVID. No, I'm just kidding. Ah. Uh, <laughs> all right. That was an amazing show, an amazing panel. And I really, once again, I want to thank so much Jason Hawk, Joel Hawk. Caitlin Shirk, Steve Gurch, and Sky Hallman, and of course, Ty Thompson. Thank you all so much for helping me uh, round out the panel, carry on an amazing live discussion about Black Widow. I also want to thank Superflow Systems, 
vlog asset tracking. I want to thank uh, Auto IMS and Murphy Auto Transport. Of course, I want to thank everybody in the live chat. Thank you so much for tuning in, being a part of the show, helping support the channel. If you rang the cowbell tonight, I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for doing that. Remember, you can send me the news, autotransportintel at gmail.com. Don't forget to get on the podcast. More and more people are following the podcast. I'm so grateful for how that's growing. And I want to thank Tony Long at the IARA. Thanks for the uh, media access to the show. I'm really excited about going live again tomorrow at noon. If you're subscribed, you should get an alert. We're going to go live at noon central time tomorrow live from the IARA Summer Roundtable in San Antonio. That's kind of the pre-note segment. We're going to go live again on Thursday. We're calling it the red carpet. It's after the final session. And as they move into, I think there's like a president's reception, something like that. So two main live segments. Across from that, if you've got social media or images to share, please send me those. Wow. That was a big cough. I don't know. I guess I need some sleep. Too many fans on. So thank you so much for joining us tonight. We really appreciate you and your time. Let us know how we can help you. Contact us. Send me an email. Autotransportintel at gmail.com Otherwise, stay safe. Say hello with the show. Send me an email. And we'll see you soon. Peace out, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.